Hey everyone, it's Volton. Just so you know, this is actually a scheduled upload, and the time this is being uploaded, I am on vacation, actually. I want to have a quick video out in Maine. So I thought, you know what, may as well just combine the devlogs I made for our Testing 101 Classic Remastered into one video. With that being said, let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to Voltage Productions. I'm Volton, and well, we got more devlogs. This time, for Testing 101 Classic Remastered. This is going to be a smaller, short-term project that I'm just really doing because I want to do it. So yeah, I'm just going to be making some devlogs for it because I think that'll be pretty fun. So yeah, I think that's a couple of say for now. I'll pitch in there now and again to explain what I'm doing. So uh, yeah, let's get, let's get into it. Okay, so the characters uh, you're seeing on the screen were actually designed a long time ago. The main reason I decided to use them was because I didn't want to just reason my FNAF 1 design is because I'm not done updating them yet, but also because I want the game to have kind of its own unique identity, and I didn't want to just reuse the Wibberts because then, well, uh, because I already kind of used them for a game. So, I decided to just use these designs. They've been chilling around my PC for a while, it just made sense to me. As you've probably guessed, I'm making the menu for the game. Currently, as of recording this, there's not really much to the menu right now, but I do think that in the final release build, there will be a lot more to it. So, as for ID Games Code of Classic Remastered, this game is just meant to be a simple remaster of my first ever playable game, Testing 101, the original build. It recently got archived, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. I just showed the old office, so it's just a Google image. Yes, I used to be one of those developers, very glad I'm not anymore. Can I just like, kind of also recreate the old office, but also just make it adhere to my style and try and make it look good in the final product. I think it turned out pretty well. Currently I'm trying to recreate the multi-monitor setup from the old office. The first thing I tried didn't really look all that great and it was a bit small, so I decided to just simplify it a bit. The static images you're seeing there are basically just pulled from a failed click team project. It's something I do want to pick up in the future, so I'm not going to say what project it is. Since nowadays I make all my sprites, or for rooms and such, in Paint.net instead of Microsoft Paint like I should have been ages ago, I was able to tamp around with my brush settings and make it look a lot more like a monitor.
The original Testing 101 along with Sandbox later on would both end up having this main hub camera thing. It doesn't really serve much purpose other than just being where the animatronics position, first position is. But, you know what? It's basically a tradition to keep it around and you know what? I'll probably come up with something later on. Potentially. Currently, I'm designing some UI for the game. The original gameplay of the game from 2020 was really bad, so I decided to go in a whole new direction for this. I think you'll maybe like it when it comes out. I don't really have any way of guaranteeing it, but nonetheless, I do think you guys will like it. Now I'm designing some stuff for the character and its actual mechanics. This is going to be all part of the main mechanic. I'll explain a bit more in a future devlog, since most of this devlog was spent making assets, as asset creation is basically, it's basically the most time consuming part of game development. Hmm, how odd. I don't have a recollection of making any of this. Hmm, how weird. Now time to code everything in. Currently as a recording, the menu is still pretty bare bones, but again, like I said earlier, I do plan on adding more to it later.
Okay, so I just had to cut out some of that footage, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm putting in some animations in the office to make it more visually interesting, specifically on a monitor in front of you. Currently, everything I've put into the game at the moment is purely visual. I haven't really added any function yet because I'm not ready to add any function to it yet. I hope to do that in the next devlog. The ABCD is going to be part of the main mechanic. Last time all we really did for cameras was get some basic images set up. However, now we're going to actually get some work on the main mechanics. I guess main mechanic, okay, whatever. We're starting off by just getting the rest of the camera sprites we need. I decided to add just a little bit of variation just to make the gameplay a tiny bit more exciting, since it's already still incredibly simple. So I decided to get a whole new menu going. So the thing is, to get players to realize that they needed to go to a different camera for that, I had to make it obvious that for Freddy and Foxy, that you couldn't just restart their testing. I'm now making the animatronics jump scares. There's five characters total, but one of them only has one frame needed for their jump scare. If we haven't done that means I have to make 21 images for the jump scares. And since I have to make the jump scares frame by frame, this is a nightmare. Nonetheless, I have still pushed through. I am now making the visuals for a help menu. The reason I'm making a help menu is because first of all, the menu needs more stuff to it, and second of all, I'm not adding a phone call or anything, so if I want the players to know how to play the game, they're going to need something like a help menu. So that's what I'm doing here, I'm making all the visuals I need for it.
Bar has a bit of a different mechanic. He does not use the cameras like the other characters. Although that was what I was originally planning, I actually decided against it after I uploaded the first devlog. So yeah, he'll be working a bit differently. You'll probably find out how it works if you slow down the video a bit. Or if you just play the game when it comes out. That too. I actually spent most of this dev vlog just recording and decoding process. Just cause like, there was a lot that I wanted to do this time in terms of coding. Last time it was more focused on art, this time it's more focused on coding. So yeah, I decided to just do some more coding and try and get the main mechanic, at least for Freddy, sorted. There's a few more visual aspects that I still have to make for the game, but I decided to just actually leave that for the full release since I kind of just need to get some other stuff done first before I actually put it in. I should probably add that this video should not be seen as a tutorial for FNAF Engine. I remember on my old channel, I, I had a live stream that was super popular because people were using it as a tutorial. Like, people were asking me questions about how FNAF Engine worked. It was very annoying to say the least. So again, this, none of my FNAF Engine videos are tutorials. I don't make tutorials anymore. I haven't made a tutorial in maybe a year or so. Again, don't ask me for tutorials. I wonder why I had to add in some extra sprites, it's because for some reason, their watches would not work for multiple cameras. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever, it's fine. I, it wasn't much of a problem anyway.
currently we're adding in the help menu. You're gonna have to read this if you want to actually have a chance at beating the game. So now we're working on the AI. This is going to be very time consuming, which is part of the reason why I don't think I'm going to do a third devlog, unless it's for an update or something. Because the process of coding the main four animatronics is pretty much the same and kind of tedious, so yeah, it's kind of the only time you're going to see it. Anyway, the idea I have is that the animatronics will get more active as the night goes on instead of as the week goes on. Now I'm doing a lot of useless code. I'm calling it useless because this code's basically not going to work properly because I forgot a crucial code block. Because of that, I am going to have to redo pretty much all this code you're seeing. That's fun. So for Fredbear, he actually requires you to look around in the office. Because every other character so far uses the cameras. The only reason you'd have to not look at the cameras was to conserve power. So, I decided to add in an office character to make you spend additional time in the office. And that ended up being Fredbear's mechanic. It's much more simple than the others, which is why I decided to do it here. 